Analytical. And it's through the self analysis, that critical analysis, this is how you progress. How do I know what I know? Well, I don't know what I know. I have to go out and see a variety of different sources, a variety of different points of view, and then from these variety of different points, I compare my point of view to the variety of point of views. And this is, through these observations, this is how I draw my next conclusion. So a lot of times, the conclusions are not, not necessary conclusions, but they're simply another form of observation. They're, they're a, a, a wider focused observation. In other words, you're looking at specific, uh, you look at specifically A, then you look at specifically B, and you look at specifically C. So you have three different um, points of view. The total of this point of view, A, B, C, right? A plus B plus C, is the total sum of what you know. And though it, pre it presents itself as a conclusion, it's not a conclusion, it's simply the overview of now your multiple uh, 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 points of view. And the more you build your library like this, you can get larger and larger points of view. You can have, if your library gets up to a close to 10,000 books, your experience over those books, or whatever thing you're collecting for the library, is now 10,000. You know, you have a sum of 10,000. So your, your knowledge, your overview grows. And you see people who spend a lot of time studying, and you see, oh, they, this guy knows so much. And well, how do they know so much? Because they spend a lot of time reading. And these this, the books they read became part of their experience. And so this was reflected in their overall observations. But if you're going through the university of life and you haven't read anything, then that's also going to be reflected in your knowledge and what's presented to the average person. So these are things to consider, and uh, it's now time for me to go food shopping. So that's I'm going to leave you here for now, and I will see you when I get back from food shopping. All right. Take it easy. I'm back. And uh, it took me, I left around, I think it was 11.30, 12 o'clock. It's now 1.30, and so it's about an hour and a half walk. I didn't get as much shopping done as I initially intended to, but I got the important things and uh, stay within my budget. So, anyways, let me give you a time and date stand. It is now 13 hours and 30 minutes into the day of... Uh, Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. It was 55 degrees outside, so... But you never know when it's 55 degrees outside, you don't know how it's going to feel. Is it going to be breezy and cold or whatever? But when it ended up happening is... I dressed for the worst case scenario that it would be a little chilly out, a little windy out. But... Not as much as I did before, but less. But it was still too much. And my body is overheating now, so I'm, this is one of the issues I'm having right now. My body is overheating, uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, well, what I was going to talk about now is uh, because I just got back and I'm resting. And I'm sort of thinking about my walk because during my walk, I think I was thinking, and this is something that's not new. It's actually ancient. This is if you look at the. Uh, the Greeks, the, 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 the Greeks, and a lot of a lot of the older cultures, you see the old people going out for walks. Well, the philosophers knew and understood that during these walks you could have discussion, you could think about things. So they created an entire school of uh, philosophers who walked and talked. It was, that was their thing. They called the peripatetics. And during the walk, you can actually develop a lot of your philosophy. You can think about the philosophy. There's a lot of things. You, there's a lot of things you can think about. You can go over scenarios. Um, 
you can uh, try and develop new understandings of things just by thinking about different ways things can be applied or different situations and how they, they uh, compare to uh, uh, one sort of philosophy or another or one uh, set of experiences or another. In other words, a lot of what you're doing in, in philosophy really when you get up, in, up into the PhD level is you're doing comparative analysis. You compare one thing to another. And a lot of times, th this is how the observations come out, and you, and you form your ideas on that. And this is some of, something that the Greeks did on a regular basis in, in, in terms of uh, uh, Aristotle, Socrates, Plato. A lot of their stuff wasn't in a factory-type classroom or, or the typical university, which is based on a factory model where you have one person in the center and everyone's sort of just copying and, 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 and working things out. Uh, the Greek experience, the Eastern philosophy, is fundamentally different. And the Greeks are not Western philosophers. Can you understand this? Although the West claims to them to be Western philosophers, the uh, Greek philosophers are actually Eastern philosophers. You can look at how they actually did their philosophy. You see that they're fundamentally different than the Eastern, than the Western philosophers are. Uh, the closest example I can give, and some Greeks will understand this, some Greeks won't. Basically, on Sundays, you have a Sunday dinner. Uh, it's, well, it's not really a dinner, but it's it's a late afternoon lunch, because you're coming home from church. Church doesn't finish until 12, 12.30. Uh, you know, you're, you have uh, your coffee and in, in, in sort of like a, uh, your pre-meal at church with everybody else, and then you go home and have a second meal. So uh, a lot of times you're not eating until 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon uh, for your lunch. And... Uh, during that time, if you go, if you if if you've gone over the sort of these family traditions that the, that the Greeks have, you'll see the men sitting around, and, and even the women, they'll have their own particular, and they're having discussions. And while they're discussing, they're eating. And this is actually what you see in one of the frescoes uh, that I have. Actually, my university's the logo for my university is the philosopher sitting around a table eating. And this is exactly what I experienced as, as, a, as a child growing up in a Greek and Syrian community, that these discussions would occur on a regular basis uh, 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 on Sundays. You know, after church, you're having your dinner, you're having a meal, and everyone would sit around and have these, they would have these discussions. And this would be done week after week. So this was a normal thing. You could begin to see the evolution, if you're thinking about this way, you can begin to see the evolution of Eastern philosophy uh, through uh, these people. You, just, you, know, you roll it backwards, you see the behavior and understand this is what Eastern philosophy was about. It wasn't uh, someone up and simply giving a uh, speech, that there was sort of a, uh, an interaction. The orators were something different. There, there, there were people who told stories. There were tourist storytellers. But even the storytellers more often than not would tell their stories around a dinner table. It wouldn't be in an open air, open air arena. So this was something that was developed later on from the West. So I was just, these are the things I was thinking about as, as I was uh, taking my walk and uh, uh, going food shopping because I walked to go food shopping. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now. I will see you in the next segment of the Big Bang Theory or BTS logs, which will be in a couple hours. All right, we are. We're getting there. We're, we're vlogging throughout the day. So in a couple hours, I will see you again. All right. Well, it's going to be the end of the day today. Uh, let me give a time and date stamp. It is 2 hours and 41 minutes into the day of Thursday, March 10th, 2016. Yeah, um... I decided to end the vlog the, the end of the day here uh, because I'm going to be taking the clips off the camera and, and migrating them over to the computer to the editing bay. So uh, that's what's happening, going to be happening in a few minutes. But I also got it, uh, I think about another half hour, 45 minutes left of work to do. Uh, and then I'm going to be calling it quits till tomorrow. The day has been pretty good. It's, 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 the progress is there. It's just, 
is not always at the pace that you expect and things come in that you don't expect. Uh, things you, in other words, things you do expect get, that you do expect to get done doesn't get done. Things you didn't expect to get done get done. And so it's really difficult to predict how the day is going to progress. Oh, excuse me. And where it's going to end. And but again, this is you know I guess this is I guess you call it, this is why I find this and you know in some ways it's exciting because you get in you, 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 there's no community <laughs> the community is very short it is not very long at all I mean it's just from the bed to the couch here and that's about it but in terms of uh, what you do on a daily basis. Uh, in terms of what you see, what you get done, it it changes. It changes depending on on what happens during the day. If you do if you do a lot of heavy work like today, I did. Uh, I ended up going uh, food shopping, and that took an enormous amount of energy out of my system. And so the amount of work I would normally get done during the day didn't get done because. Uh, my body was so exhausted. So right now I'm just sort of uh, taking notes, milling around. I'm watching uh, my YouTube TV. Watch. I have a number of uh, vlogs I like to watch. I'm watching, just sort of catching up on Cassandra, Cassandra uh, Ebner's uh, Nerds RL. Uh, you know, it's it's it's. <sighs> This is for me the status quo, where the day is, where the day is is sort of uh, rotating. The, the the schedule is rotating. I'm going to bed at three o'clock in the morning, three four o'clock in the morning. I'll, I'll probably yeah I'll probably end up getting to bed closer to three thirty four. And this is just the way things go. I mean, I, I don't think I'll ever expect to have. A normal uh, sleep pattern, but uh, that doesn't seem to bother me too much. I seem to be able to function uh, regardless of whether I have the right amount of sleep or not. So, like I said, this is the end, and now it's, it's going to be going into the editing bay. I was going to do a segment today for this this vlog. Uh, for uh, Annie of uh, Batali uh, on the time thing, but I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, it will be for tomorrow's vlog, but I'm not going to do the separate one that I, I expected to do. Because I can't seem to find the video that she asked the question in, so I'll answer it simply within the vlog and make the notation of it, and if they see it, they see it, and if they don't, then they know. Um, that's, <laughs> that's the thing, you know, that's the thing for me, that's kind of the way I do things sometimes, if, you know, if you tend to do one thing, but you can't put everything together the way you need to put it together. Then you do a secondary. Well, this is instead of doing nothing. So, uh, I think I'm going to leave it here tonight. I'll see you guys when I get up again. Uh, probably, who else? It's, 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 yeah. I don't think I'll be getting up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, but we'll, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how my body feels tomorrow, because a lot of times it takes 24 to 48 hours before the uh, stiffness starts to really come in uh, from the heavy walk. Uh, and I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but uh, we'll have to sort of wait and see. Anyway, in the next, see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. Yeah, of... Professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics.
Democratic Earth.